All right. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great start to your day. Uh, this is take two. Hopefully we got some audio now. Uh, my name is Jeff Street. I teach people how to make money from home online. And today I want to talk to you about taking action. And one thing I can tell you about action is action is the antidote of all fear. And one of the most important parts of taking action is flexing a muscle that most people never have the opportunity to flex, and that's the decision muscle. See, there's so much power in being able to go out and make decisions. Awesome, we got audio now, I, I, I love that. Take two, here we go. So I'm rereading this book right now, one of my favorite books of all time, Good Morning Kathy, The Traveler's Book by Andy Andrews, and I'm reading right now uh, a chapter about Joshua Chamberlain. And for those of you that don't know who this hero, Joshua Chamberlain, you know, was, you know, Joshua Chamberlain uh, was a school teacher for Maine, you know, not a soldier, not somebody that was chain trained for middle military battle, but during the Civil War, war he had to go in list and, you know, fight for the North and fight for the Union and, and, and fight for freedom, fight for equality. And here it is, Mr. Joshua Chamberlain, you know, uh, turned into a soldier and all of a sudden it comes the Battle of Gettysburg. And in the Battle of Gettysburg, the South had the opportunity to go out and t overtake the North. And if the South had overtaken the North, uh, you know, the country that we live in today would not be the country that we live in. And Joshua Chamberlain, he was the far left. And he was the last line of defense on the far left to make sure that the South uh, didn't go out and take Gettysburg. And here this soldier, this school teacher for me, was in the face of ultimate adversity, ultimate adversity. And during that ultimate adversity, he had a split second to make a decision, to exercise that decision muscle. And when he exercised that decision mus muscle, he said, come on, give him a great white, a great right, uh, what's it called? A great right wheel, a great right wheel. And somebody's like, what does that mean? He means an all out charge and they charged. And here's what happened. The South retreated. But let me talk to you about what it says at the end of this chapter. It talks about the third decision for success. And that decision is being a person of action. And I just want to read this to you because uh, this is something that impacted me years ago when I, when, I re when, I, when I read it. And Mark, good morning, buddy. And it impacted me even more when I read it here this morning. So here's the third decision for success. Beginning today, I will create a new future by creating a new me. No longer will I dwell in a pit of despair, moaning over squandered time and lost opportunity. I can do nothing about the past. My future is immediate. I will grasp it in both hands and carry it with running feet. When I'm faced with the choice of doing nothing or doing something, I will always choose to act. I seize this moment. I choose now. I'm a person of action. I'm energetic. I move quickly. Knowing that laziness is a sin, I will create a habit of likely behavior. I will walk with a spring in my step and a smile on my face. The lifeblood rushing through my veins is urging me upward and forward into activity and accomplishment. Wealth and prosperity hide from the sluggard, but rich rewards come to the person who moves quickly. I'm a person of action. I inspire others with activity. I'm a leader. Leader is doing. To lead, I must move forward. Many people move out of the way for a person on the run. Others are caught up in his wake. My activity will create a wave of success for the people who follow. My, my will... My activity will be consistent. This will instill confidence in my leadership. As a leader, I have the ability to encourage and inspire others to greatness. It is true. An army of sheep led by a lion would defeat an army of lions led by a sheep. I'm a person of action. I can make a decision. I make it now. A person who moves neither left nor right is destined for mediocrity. When faced with the decision, many people say they're waiting for God, but I understand in most cases, God God is waiting for me. He has given me a healthy mind to gather and sort information and the courage to come to a conclusion. I'm not a quivering dog, indecisive and fearful. My constitution is strong and my pathway clear. Successful people make their decisions quickly and change their mind slowly. Failures make their decisions slowly and change their mind quickly. My decisions come quickly and I lead to victory. I'm a person of action. I'm daring. I'm courageous. Fear no longer has a place in my life. For too long, fear has outweighed my desire to make things better for my family. Never again.
I have exposed fear as a vapor, an imposter that's never had any power over me in the first place. I do not fear opinion, gossip, or the idle chatter of monkeys for all the same to me. I do not feel failure for in my life, failure is a myth. Failure exists only for the person who quits. I do not quit. I'm courageous. I'm a leader. I seize the moment. I choose now. I'm a person of action. Guys, you know, this book, Andy Andrews, uh, The Traveler's Gift, gift, one of my favorite books of all time. Uh, When I first, uh, Melissa and I first started dating, it was the first book that I I bought her. Just picked it up, just started rereading it. Going to be doing a clubhouse room about this book real soon, but drop a comment for me that says, I'm a person of action. I am a person of action. Drop that comment. Go out and be a person of action today. Again, drop a comment. I am a person of action. And hit the share button. You know, do me a favor. If you got something out of today's video, all I ask is hit the share button so somebody else can get a chance to hear today's message. My name is Jeff Street. I'm a person of action. I teach people how to make money from home online. God bless everybody and have a wonderful Friday. We'll see you tomorrow.